They're almost done. Look at them. Oh. Oh, they smell great. They're almost done. I hear a sizzle. I clearly I hear clearly a sizzle. The pan's not hot it's enough. It's gray. But, yes. It's gray. And the egg. Oh, this is ray this is raw. And there's egg binder. It's hey man, Rocky did it. Chef Ryan Sow here, not your typical chef, owner of Mission Sandwich Social, located right here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, as well as being the only winner of Beat Bobby Flay season one. Before we go on with today's episode, I do want to give a special shout out to all of my amazing sous chef level patrons. Guys, thank you so much for your support. Support. You, along with all the patrons, really do make a difference on this channel. And with that out of the way, on to the reaction. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Cooking with Jack, Bison Tacos, and Burgers. But I have a special guest today, Chef Derek Prince. What's going on? Derek Prince. Thank you so sorry. much for joining. No, <laughs> why are you being sorry? Don't <laughs> no, be sorry. I was waiting for you to finish. I thought I interrupted. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. We can interrupt each other all we want here. Um, Derek, let everyone know uh, who are watching, who you are, and where you work. What's going on? My name is Derek. Right now, I'm the chef de cuisine at Beauty and Essex in New York City. I'm a recovering musician, and uh, <laughs> I found my way into food, so I'm still here. There you go. I used to be the chef de cuisine at Beauty and Essex, and Derek is actually the guy that got me the job. <laughs> uh, and then only I, to replace him. Only to replace place me later. So Derek, so good to have you here. Uh, good to see you. It's been a while. And um, have you ever heard with cooking? Have, have you ever heard of cooking with Jack? No, man, I have not. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm excited. I love bison. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. All right. Let's check this out. Got a whole pound of bison left. So we're going to make a bison burger. Oh, no. Do you see that thing in the corner? <laughs> I see B, C, U, a C, R, what I'm assuming is a U and ita. Yeah, yeah, breadcrumbs. I'm pretty sure that's breadcrumbs. I hope we don't put that in the I'm meat. I, I, mean, we don't, I hope we don't put it in our burger blend. Sounds like he's going to make a meatball, a meatball <laughs> or a meatloaf. I'm not going to get all fancy on this, but I am going to add a little something extra. So we're not going to get as fancy as the tacos. Pound of okay. ground bison, garlic right. powder. Garlic powder again, of, okay. Out of all the dry spices, I'm pretty much fine with ground powder. You yeah, know, not, no, in, in, the, in this application, yeah. sure, if you're seasoning meat, you want to season it internally, you don't yeah. want to add the moisture of fresh vegetables, right. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I keep garlic powder, I keep plenty of dried yeah. stuff. I, I, I prefer fresh garlic, but, you know, in this application, I think. Garlic. You know what, for me, when I, like, when I think back to those tacos, for me, the thing about garlic is I want that browning. I want yeah. the garlic to go in a hot pan. I want, I, want, I want to smell that change of the raw garlic turning to that toasted garlic and I feel like that's just it's one of my favorite things when I'm cooking. There I mean there's an incredible depth of flavor with like cooked brown garlic. It's yeah. right before it gets bitter it's so good. Yeah. There you go. Okay, onions. There we go. Yeah, right. Crack an egg in there. Ah, uh, this no. is not a burger. Oh no. Oh. Hat down. Hat down. Yeah, What's the, is that? Is that molasses? Just for Wait, what did he say? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No. Let's what? little kick in flavors. I don't know. We uh, missed it. Top it off. I mean, first of all, that looks like the pancake pancake syrup pour from IHOP, but I don't know what that is. A little jealous of that vessel. Best, oh. What was it? It's, it's the best. Let me get my hat back on. My head's <laughs> cold. It's a little cold today, guys. He has a line of sauces called like the best barbecue sauce oh, or the okay. best teriyaki sauce, I guess. Yeah, that uh, looks like industri industrial teriyaki sauce thickened with like agar agar. You think they'd gum use agar? Or... Is it no, no, it's no. definitely a gum. It's no, xanthum. No. Uh, it's... Xanthum, xanthum. Yeah. That's what I mean. Xanthum gum. But he put an egg in the burger. Yeah, no, it's no, it, this is no longer a burger. It's no longer a burger. No way. No hope of being. And like, you know, for a lean protein, particularly a lean protein you don't really need you don't need a not that you need a binder for a burger you period you don't, you don't yeah so it's completely moot i i would have been okay with that the onion yeah of course you want, if you want to season your yeah. meat you, you we're gonna make a burger blend we're gonna you want yeah, to season, season your meat <laughs> you want to season it from the inside great yeah i just don't understand if we're making burgers why we're, why we're adding an egg yeah well what do you think of the teriyaki sauce i mean you know <laughs> It looks like it has the consistency of an oyster. It looks it, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of flavor. Oh, God, more. Yeah. Oh, you saw how that poured? It's a lot gelatinous. of liquid in there. How am I going to hold that all together? I'm going to make not this liquid. That's not liquid. When I fry it. Well, Argue oh, liquid. that's why you get the breadcrumbs out. Oh, no. Oh, breadcrumbs. He is. He is <laughs> oh. They have a little substance, but they also hold it. Uh, I just. I, <laughs> this, is, this, this is a little bit of a horror show right now. Yes, it's a. It's a, it's a it's, okay, here we go. Ready? So one thing too nice. to think about, we had already discussed the differences between bison and beef. Yeah. And we already noted that bison is what? It's a drier, drier than beef. Yeah. 
now we're adding bread to it, yeah. which is going to further dry it out. Yes. You know, his his justification was that, oh, if it looks too liquidy, you know, it, basically he's drying it up by adding breadcrumb, but it's just not necessary. Yeah. You know, I mean, for me personally, when I do my burgers, I'm just a straight up salt and pepper, sometimes not even pepper right before it hits the grill. Yeah. No, you right? really don't need anything. On, on both sides, just patty, salt, salt onto the onto a grill preferably charcoal if you can and that's it i have nothing against a hard sear and a cast iron yeah oh uh, yes actually i take that back cast iron and or um a, a this good is charcoal also me grill. in my new york city apartment living without any outdoor space so i have zero grill yeah <laughs> nice see see how it's kind of don't sticky? spank it <laughs> please don't spank it not wet but sticky beautiful yeah you well, think there's patty right there no just kidding all right let's make some patty no, right now no that's your meatloaf now remember, these patties cannot be, they can't be uh, well done, okay? Not with bison. It's got to be medium rare or rare. So if you don't like medium rare or rare burgers. <laughs> if you're not intending to cook this well done, then like, why did you need the egg to bind it? To, to, you know what I mean? Like, there's just no logic there, in there, this. There, we can't, there, there's, he's, there's nothing he can do to excuse the egg. Yeah. There's no, there's, no, there's no, no reason. No. Again. The egg and the breadcrumb just like took this to another level. He's going to surprise us. He's going to serve the burgers in sauce after he fries them. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. There's one. You know they're perfect consistency when they try to almost stick to your hand, but That's they don't. Not true. That's not true. true. That 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 has nothing to do with anything whatsoever. It, it, the more you manipulate protein, the more you're beating it up, the more the protein fibers or the protein itself is just going to excrete what proteins are made of. And guess what? That stuff's sticky. You know, so. Well, that, yeah, you know, and also the more you handle it, the tougher it's going to be. And the tougher it is going to be. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, like, I remember at a past restaurant, you know, when we made burgers, it was literally from the grinder. We, you know, got all the pro the beef, the different cuts of beef, whatever that blend was, put it into the grinder. And as it came out of the grinder, we were forming the patties. Right. Not even patties, we are forming balls. And right, we, just to smash them. And we smashed, not, well not smash, but we flattened them okay. out right before it hit the grill. And that was it, salt and pepper. It was one of the most amazing burgers ever. And the texture was really nice and soft and tender, but juicy mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And guess what? We didn't manipulate the protein at all. In fact, the chef insisted like, manipulate it as little as possible. It's smart, it's smart, yeah. it's probably delicious. Hey everyone, I wanna tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Fume. Be smart, don't start, kick the habit, put it out before it puts you out, things we have heard a hundred times, and guess what? We still continue to do bad habits. Personally, one very bad habit that I have is actually chewing on the ends of my pen as I work, and you can see this one. Bit chewed up, kind of gross, I know. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to help you trade your negative habit for a positive one. Fume is not a vape. It's a non-electronic device designed to transform your negative habits. Fume's new version two is snappy and tactile. I mean, look at this thing. Pretty sweet. And with this adjustable airflow dial and magnetic end cap, your fingers will always have something to do. Now, I gotta tell you, when I first got this, I really wasn't expecting much, but I'm really enjoying the mint crisp core. Uh, it's just really nice. It flows nicely and it's not overpowering, but it's nice and present. And again, I'm a fidgeter. I chew on things and this thing has been really helpful. Head to tryfume.com slash chef BT or scan the QR code and use the code chef BT to save 10% when you get the Journey Pack today. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors and the Fume 2.0 to help kickstart your positive habits. That's tryfum.com and use the code Chef BT to save an additional 10% when you order today. They're almost done. Look at them. Oh. Oh, they smell great. They're almost done. I hear a sizzle. I clearly I hear a clearly sizzle, the pan's not hot it's enough. It's gray. But, yes. It's gray. And and you know, to what you were saying earlier, when you work with bison, you really have to any lean protein, if you want to get browning on it, Maillard reaction, caramelization, whatever you want to call it, yeah, you need fat to facilitate the heat transfer. Yeah, he should have had some oil, some butter in there. Yeah. I mean, butter would have been great for this. Ooh, butter would have been great, actually. Still a little pink on the sides here. I'm just gonna wait a few more minutes. Never. By the way, never, write this down, never press down your patties. 
That's it's true. Such- no. What do you mean? For what he's doing, he's not doing a smash burger. Well, I was just about to say, what about a smash burger? Well, I mean, a smash burger, you're not looking for juice. They're dry. They're just, they're smashed. No, they're like, I don't, ag- I don't, I don't agree with okay. that. I, I think a smash burger, like, you, you know, the whole thing about it is usually you have more than one patty. True. And then in between each layer, there's usually a piece of cheese. So if anything, it makes it more moist because well, you're able to incorporate more between each patty. I guess, yeah, I see that. I, when, when I think of smushing it, I think of like, I, th- I think of a smash burger, I want, I'm thinking of the texture. I feel like you get, that, you get the crispy beef on both right. sides and then you'll get the moistness from the cheese. But right. I feel like, you know, when you're smashing something like this, like a lot of people tend to do, right. that's when you're losing moisture. Okay, that I agree with. And you know what, smash burger and like, let's just call this a traditional burger. Yeah, yeah like a big, like a quarter pound, a third of pound patty. Yeah, it, I mean, completely different burgers yeah. at the end of the day. Both delicious, mm-hmm. but completely different. And I think the average person at home is just doing a traditional burger. Typically. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. But yeah, it's just not enough sear on there, man. Um, Ugh. He's not done. He could flip them okay, again. Okay, 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 okay. It's all the juice out of them. Look at those bad boys. Okay? Never do that. I'm going to show you how to how to all build right. a hamburger. That's right. Normally show me, I don't, baby. Uh, <laughs> show me what show you, you got. You product. But let's show you how I put it together. Grab yourself a, a bun. These are the knew it, Hawaiian, knew it was going to be on toast. Hawaiian bun. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Maybe he's going to bring the pan over or something. <laughs> yeah, give, give him the benefit of the doubt, Derek. Hope you're enjoying this video because there is an extended version available on my Patreon. That's right. By becoming a patron, you get to watch extended versions of certain episodes along with patron exclusive content. So be sure to visit the link below and become a patron today. And with that said, back to the episode. A little drop of teriyaki. Oh, he is, teriyaki. is doing untoasted. <laughs> Untoasted, like he's got more jelly. On the bun, beautiful. Look at that. <sighs> All right, why toasted bun? I, I and I n- t- to preface this, I agree with you. I think default for any burger, unless it's like a backyard bar. No, even a backyard barbecue. Yeah, you have to grill. Yeah, you have to grill. Yeah, heat up your bread. Come yeah, on. You always heat up your bread. But why? Like, what's the why? For me, I want that texture. I feel like it's it also strengthens the bread. Yes. So then, when yeah. you're putting your sauce on it, it's not just going to fall apart. That, that's mush. exactly yeah. what I was looking for. Toasting it. Uh, kind of makes clearly like dries out that top layer, but also makes it more robust to hold together better. And it tastes good. And it tastes good. And yeah, finally, <laughs> it tastes awesome. <laughs> and texturally, you know, when you have like the right toasted bread on, oh man, you can't beat that. Grab yourself a piece of cheese so the heat starts melting it. That's not gonna work. It's not. Tomato <sighs> right on top. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm, I, I, all right, I, I didn't see this while I was, you know, moaning in pain, um, but I was about to say if I was guessing how he was going to build the rest of this burger, he's going to put cold stuff on top of that cheese. That he's hoping for the che- for the heat of cheese, the burger to yeah, melt. Yeah, it's going to rob the heat out of the burger. So you always want to melt your cheese while it's cooking. You know, the last few seconds, just so it starts to melt. And yes, it'll carry over cook once you remove it from the heat source on the bun and it'll continue to melt. But if you're taking taking it you're just putting a cold piece of cheese now it's it's not gonna work now i don't know if you have these they always have them at subway they're called pepper rings or banana peppers or those are delicious those or are delicious whatever but i don't know how like i this. feel about Gives that with teriyaki extra. sauce <laughs> put that right on there beautiful and top it off once again a little drop of teriyaki Oof. there Oof. he's really into that teriyaki he's really jelly. into that teriyaki That's my teriyaki <laughs> mm. okay we're gonna put this right on top. Look how beautiful that is. Uh oh. I mean, that's big, isn't it? All right. Wow. And center it on the plate. There you go. All right, here we go. Now, I have to warn you once again, this is gonna be rare. So, if you don't like rare, you might wanna leave the room now. All right, he's there warning us oh, it's yeah. gonna be rare. Gorgeous. I'm not liking where this is going I for know, the reveal, the big reveal. I just know it. <laughs> that's blue. <laughs> that's that's raw. That that is com- that's just raw. It's not rare. It's raw. It's black and blue. It's not, there's no black. It's just blue. <laughs> oh, true. It's there's steamed, no black. It's okay. and blue. For for, the, for those of you watching who are not familiar what black and blue means, it's it's a type of 
steak prep, generally steak preparation. Would work on a burger. I, yeah, yeah, it works on a burger too. Let, let's just say a protein preparation. Wouldn't want to do it on chicken. But <laughs> you get the outside super seared. I mean, as dark as you can get it. Which requires short. a very hot pan, which we have yes. yet to see in this show. Exactly. No, <laughs> <laughs> this is just like lightly seared. Steamed? Steamed. Roasted? Roasted. Pan roasted? Not really. St this is a st steamed uh, roast uh, pot. Uh, a uh, meatball Something. patty. So, you know what? I mean, one thing that shocks me too, if you think about everything that we put into this burger right yeah. here, you know what I didn't see once? Salt. Oh, <laughs> yes. I didn't see right. any salt. Yeah. And I mean, I'm sure there's a certain level of salt in, in, in the teriyaki jelly. I'm yeah. sure there's a certain level of salt in the Italian breadcrumbs. <laughs> but I mean, there was no salt added to the inside of the meat. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know, like whenever I cook a burger or a steak, I'm literally crusting that salt on the yeah. outside. Salt, and like you said, sometimes pepper, yeah. but I'm gonna put a good layer of that yeah. as soon as it goes in the pan or yeah. on the grill. And I, we didn't see any seasoning. You're either. right, we didn't see any seasoning, you know, and that heavy layer of salt on this particular burger patty is super important because you know smash burgers you don't have to salt too heavily because it's, so, it's yeah. so flat it gets it's so thin the surface right. area yeah. and you you usually have multiple patties smashed patties in this case it's such a thick patty um you're not going to get any of that flavor on yeah. in the middle I mean, you're just going to taste the teriyaki and the bread crumbs. yes <laughs> And the egg. Oh, this is ra this is raw, and there's egg binder. It's hey, man, Rocky did it. It serves zero purpose. Yeah. Z I can hear the emails coming. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Not those emails. No one cares off. how you're eating. Put it on a bun. But anyway, there it is, right there. Let's give it a try. Well, there it is. It's gorgeous. Okay. Before <laughs> I try it, I just want to say thanks to Crown Blue Bison. Don't forget, when you cook bison, it's either rare or medium rare. You go to well done and forget it. It's going to toughen up. All right? That's all protein. <laughs> it gets tougher if it's well done. All protein. Yes, true. <laughs> so let's give this baby a try. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm-hmm. And this is how I got salmonella. <laughs> well, you haven't seen some of his poultry cookery videos. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, uh, has, has he done chicken sashimi? Um, not yet, but I'm pretty sure. I, I mean, actually, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the teriyaki jelly for it. <laughs> okay, man. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. Why did you guys send me this, really? The, the commenters have... Oh, yeah. This yeah. Is, they, they have spoken? Yeah, they have spoken, and they sent Dictated. me... Dictated? dictated more or less Derek what are your thoughts on this burger we heard your thoughts on the on the tacos um you know like just uh, simple things you know like make it easier on yourself why are we adding an egg why are we turning it into like a, a raw meatloaf I don't <laughs> I don't understand that seasoning helps a lot no you cheese I mean come on the cheese I think the cheese was equal I don't know what was more offensive the the egg in the burger the bread comes in the burger or just the slice of cheese where we're like maybe it's gonna melt yeah I have nothing to add to what you said I, I'm pretty much uh, in complete agreement with you when we were talking about bison before you know I, I, I was thinking back and the first time I'd heard of bison I think I was as people eating it rather I must have been in my teens and my father had gone someplace and had a bison burger and he came back and he said he said to me he's like, he's like well now I know why the Indians hunted them to extinction it was <laughs> delicious <Yeah. laughs> um, he wouldn't have said that if he had this burger no 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 not at all uh waste of uh some wonderful bison meat with that said guys uh hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did making it actually no you that's did, no, you didn't, no you didn't. i didn't enjoy making this one no not at all but you made it better Derek. <laughs> and you know what before we sign off can you let everyone know where they can find more about you you can find me on instagram at Derek prince um and if you do want to come taste some food that i'm involved with making you can come to beauty and essex in new york city where i won't serve your burger like that <laughs> All right, dude, thank you so much awesome. good. for thank coming you for on to the me. show. Guys, remember, don't be afraid to fail because it can only make you stronger, except in this case. And with that said, I'm Chef Brian Sow, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon.